Good morning guys and welcome back to a new weekly vlog starting very early in the morning and something very different. I'm actually off to go to a yoga class which is really lovely. I'm going for a an event and it's with a new brand and I can never say it right. Oh my friend Ellie. It's called it's called Afletia and it's a new skincare brand. And yeah, so really excited to get to know about the brand and also so I'll do a little bit of yoga. We're gonna go to Mortimer House and do a bit of yoga which is really nice. So I'm up early, I've just been browsing because I've been putting an autumn wish list together to share with you guys. And yeah, I just thought I'd quickly show you my outfit. I'm just wearing my sweaty betty black outfit. These are the seven to eight power leggings and I'm wearing an extra small they are the comfiest leggings ever and they've got a zip at the back which is perfect and then I'm just wearing a sweaty betty like vest top and then one of these I think it's like a yoga bra it's like a medium strength but because I've got a size too small for me it feels like it's a very strong strength it's like perfect and then I'm wearing an old this is from Fall From Reckless this coat I hope you can see this this is from a collection they did I think in March, uh, February, March time with two girls from Paris, Philippa and something Storm. So it might be still online, but I'm so glad I got my hands on it because it's super comfortable and perfect this, for this time of year. It's this kind of transitional weather. I just put my hair up, I put a tiny bit of makeup on, actually quite impressed with it. And then put my new balances on because I'm only doing some yoga. So let's start the weekly vlog super early and um, yeah, doing a little bit of a morning stretch before I start the day. guys so a little bit more actually i don't know i think i look bizarre without my brows or mascara on but i just got home well i haven't just got home i got home around 10 it was a really lovely event i will actually go through the products with you quickly before i start filming but it was a where am i gonna put you it was a really lovely event so it was with a new company called afletia afletia we did yoga They've actually sent over some really lovely products, so I thought I'd quickly go through some of them and might actually start using them, I'm not too sure. Um, but one of them which really fascinated me, which I think I've got two of, um, oh no, they're just the boxes, perfect, is the Afflatia Sculpt Refreshing Lotion. And I've never heard anything of this, but basically we did a yoga class which was just heavenly and the instructor, Victoria, recommended that using this after the gym, basically it's kind of like a, I guess like a dry shampoo, but it's like a oil mist in a sense. So don't use too much, you literally need to use one on your scalp and do a couple on your back. But I think it just gives a really nice like smell and just kind of like um kind of gets everything going again. I'm not too sure. They also gave a smooth body meal. That was beautiful as well. Also a room mist, feel the wind, which was lovely. Core balance oil. Oh, okay, so yeah, so there's two products. Which one's that? That's the toning one. So these two are a duo. So what we have here is the Afflatia Core Balance Oil oil and then you also have the Afflatia Core Balance Toning Lotion. Now you'd think to put that on first and then this one but you don't. So this is made out of I think 40% oil, 60% water. They just found that that balance really worked well with the skin and also as well if you're using it in the morning. It doesn't kind of like make your makeup or your day's moisturizer kind of like slip off your face if that makes sense. But also it's a really good consistency for masseuses or any like lymphatic drain as you want to do on yourself really works wonderful with that as well so what you do is you cleanse your face and then you apply a I guess some drops I guess a couple of drops onto your hand apply that and then with the toning oil I guess on a cotton pad you would apply that after that so apparently that's how you're supposed to do it you're not supposed to do it that way around you're supposed to do it this way around um so really intrigued by that got a towel and what else did i get in here i think that's it actually so yeah really lovely of them a really lovely team they look after a japanese makeup beauty as well called suku 
which is a really really lovely brand i really like them so yeah this is kind of been born from that company as well and they have a sustainable fair trade farm in japan i believe which sounds really wonderful I wonder if they'll do a, a trip over there to go and see the farm would love to go oh my god my dream is to go to japan but yes that was really lovely a really lovely morning actually i haven't done a yoga class outside for such a long time but now I'm on to filming. I'm home, just had some breakfast, sent off some jobs. And now I'm about to film two more jobs and then have some lunch. And then I'm going to film a Zara haul. And then I've got to get a video ready for tonight. So a little bit of a whirlwind. But yeah, let's get cracking. I've just done my hair again with the GKHD straightener. Super obsessed with just like the volume. It's just lovely um and then i'm wearing a new jumper from fall from reckless by the time you're watching it it is live this is the georgia lennon collection lennon lennon beautiful and if you don't know her already on instagram then go and check her out as well and um, she's done a collection with fall from reckless which is really exciting and um i got some pieces included in this which is just i feel like it's so classic it's such a gorgeous jumper and then i um got a trench which was really lovely as well but it, it will be live it's going out live tomorrow whilst i'm filming it but it'll be live when this goes live because i think this is gonna go live next tuesday but yeah i will catch you guys in a bit because i really need to get on with filming so see you in a bitty okay so this is a quick lunch i've just filmed a makeup video so this is a tuna salad with balsamic i've put some vegan via life cheese in there and also some coriander and chili so it's going to be actually a really yummy kind of twist on a just a plain old tuna salad i've just done a oh you can see the color a bit more here I've just done a Ico, you can see my film in the background, a Ico job. Well, I'm doing photos with them, but I thought I might as well kill two birds with one stone and do a little video. And I've gone for like a really nice khaki colour. It's gorgeous, so really over the moon with that. So I just need to take some photos of that, but my phone died. So I thought whilst that's charging up, I will make some lunch. This is going to die in a minute. So I'm going to charge this whilst I'm eating lunch um, before I film Zara later. So yeah, really over the moon with this colour. I think it's really lovely and it complements my eye colour very well. So that video will be live at some point soon. And also the photo with more information about the products, which is really exciting. And I've actually just confirmed a free month contract with them, which is even more exciting as well as Christophe Robin loving their products. This hair br hair hairbrush is amazing. But yeah, really happy about that. But yeah, really over the moon with the brows and my eyes. I think they just look really cool. So I'm gonna put you on charge, eat my lunch, and I'll catch you guys in a bit. Done. This is my new setup, guys. Just here. Nice vibe, get to use the shelf, which I think is really nice. So I just filmed a reel, which has taken me an hour and a half. These reels that you see, which are like 15 seconds long, take forever. So, just filmed that. I do need to film the YouTube version, which I think I'm going to do now, so then it's just done. And whilst I do have the house to myself and I have makeup on, this usually takes like 10 to 20 minutes, I guess. So yes, I think I might do that. First off, I do actually need, oh, do I just get, I'm going to get this over and done with. I feel like I'm just procrastinating. I feel like I need sugar though. It's so exhausting doing this bit. But yeah, that was really good. I'm really happy with the outcome. Really happy with some of the pieces. Some of the pieces I didn't actually end up filming because I just didn't like them. I'm going to sort those out. And then tomorrow I'm actually going to shoot with India in Brighton. So I need to go and organize some outfits. But I'm going to do four and just keep to a minimum of four because I don't like to overdo it because I think then I waste outfits. But yeah, so I'm going to do that. So now I need to have a little break. I think I'm going to eat something because I'm just like, I need sugar. And then I'm going to film. Actually, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go out, see what I've got in the fridge because I'm like hungry, but I don't know what to eat and there's not really much I can eat in here. So I think what I'm going to do is run to the post office, drop off a part so I need to drop off, grab some bits and bobs for dinner later and um, maybe grab a snack. So I will catch you guys in a bit. I thought I'd quickly show you kind of this setup from this angle. I'm watching um, some vlogs. Um, what's her name? Delaney Childs. But yeah, so this is the setup. So I've actually moved my dining room table just here for now. And then I've got the really nice setup of my like antique, um, my vases and books. So I thought that would actually be quite cool. Also, that means that I can keep the mess in my bedroom and then this bit's all clean, just ready to go like a studio. So yeah, really happy with that. So I'm going to, so yeah, so then I'm, now what I'm gonna do is 
edit and see if I like this kind of background. But yeah, so we're gonna be, I'm gonna do that, double check that I really like the lighting and stuff and maybe I'll just keep to this from now on. It's really handy with the lights here um, and I feel like I just have a little bit more room to play around with. But anyway, I'm going to go to the post office and get that delivery done. So then, yeah, done and dusted. It's where my green eyeshadow gets darker and darker every time I look at the screen. It's been a hot minute, I'm still going, it's half seven. Um, Hells is on her way home, she just went for drinks after work. I've been a cooking dinner. Are we in focus, we're in focus. I've got my jobs and stuff to do, but I've been cooking some dinner. So I have done some sea bass. This is some grilled courgettes. And we have some broccoli, which I forgot about and some peas which is lovely so when house gets home i'm gonna chuck this in the oven so it gives her time to sort herself out um and then yeah we'll have a bit of dinner so this is the final outcome we've got helena home so we've got some sea bass grilled courgette and onion and garlic broccoli and peas yeah they've got heli booze so ciao and i'll see you in the back right outside huh yeah i just caught that on camera as well um but we've just done a few outfits we are now getting ready for lunch we're gonna head to botanic which is one of our favorite like restaurants in brighton they own like this guy called fabio owns quite a few of them and they're just all the only places we actually go to <laughs> yeah. literally um but yeah so we are now in the next outfit so we're kind of actually matching which is very cute my hair is mental so yeah it's very windy and we were just saying how actually my hair's done okay in this wind and it's because i've been using the straighteners like i said so maybe i'll do like a little quick tutorial in this vlog 100%. honey percent sweeties um but yeah so we've done this outfit got one or two left i've got one because i've got oh yeah i've got this one and yeah and the next one stunning um so we're gonna head to lunch now because we're starving and it's a late lunch and um yeah show you what we get so we are in botanic now honestly if you're looking for somewhere to shoot the lighting here is just incredible um but we've just ordered the special we ordered this summer squash curry paste thing with like this basil aioli it looks delightful it's been really good actually as well with india's allergies so this is what it looks like it looks really yummy also like a really nice like size it's not too heavy and then you've got like some peanuts on the top so jess if you're watching this you are not allowed this but it looks incredible but yeah this is my little day hello hello i'm gonna tuck into this because we are starving and it's 3 p.m <laughs> I don't actually know if I've actually, I know I did vlog a little bit here ages ago, but it looks, I don't know if you can catch that, phenomenal. I will leave some before videos, but it's nearly there. We can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Oh, it just looks so cool. And Daddio's making some paella on his new oven cooking thing. Wait, hang on. Alexa, pause. I get copyrighted. But dad's making some paella. It looks so good. Yeah. Mama's getting the champagne out. <laughs> Mama's getting the champagne out. It's not fully done, but you can kind of envision it. I love this. I was saying to dad, I love these drawers. They're so beautiful. Daddies. Daddies. <laughs> but, um, oh, it looks beautiful. Oh, um, You've got a tap. Wait, have you? Is that come today? Yeah. <gasps> so this is. No! <laughs> I just got the, the first realization. So the, what is it called? It's a uh, cooker. 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 There. Cooker. Cooker. So it's a, ever hot, it, um, hot So it's like a kettle. Yeah. So we don't have to have a kettle. So that when it's lifted, what does that mean? No, it presses. Oh, so you have to push that and then that's when it's hot. Yeah, and it lights up. It's, it not, it's not connected oh, okay. yet. No, it's not it's connected. Not connected. Yet. But we have a tap. <gasps> we have a tap. But by by Christmas, my birthday, yes. this is going to be all done. All done. And my dad has just laid the floors here. I wonder if I can get 
Is that the light? Oh. My dad's just done the floor. <gasps> oh, so gorgeous. I will give you a full tour when it's officially done. I'm just going to turn the light off. Oh, it's a duck. When it's officially done, which will probably be my birthday. Wait, I come down on the 16th of yeah, October. Be, yeah, all this floor Flooring will be, done. will be done, but stairs will be done. Stairs will be done, maybe done but not decorated. No. Done, but I think I'll wait until yeah, birthday. Because birthday, well, yes, having my birthday here. Done, I? Yeah. But this was just like, I can't remember how much I've shown you. I don't actually know if. I think this was still a window. That was a window. That was still a window. This is a door. Because when I came here, it was like we were just coming out of lockdown when I filmed and vlogged. Yeah, this was the kitchen. The oven was there. The yeah. There was a window. door window. here. Yeah. This was a, a lounge. Dining room. There was a chimney. Yeah, huge. Here. Now look at it. Yeah. And I, I just found out about these. They're not actually full brick. <laughs> They're like thin bricks, so it's kind of like fake brick, which is so clever. Brick slips, darling. Brick slips. Oh, here you go. Exhibit A. It's the box that sells you all. Wow. Them. So, brick slips. And these are the Jim Lawrence lights. Oh yeah, they're gonna go up here. So this will all be done. This will all be done by my birthday. Yes. And this, do you want to tell what this oh, is gonna be? Oh, yeah. Look! <laughs> um, so who's the lady from Sheerlux? Sheerlux. Sheerlux. The lady Georgie, from she the oat, like the founder. Yeah. So she made her husband made for her a beautiful drinks cabinet with drawers that you pull out, which have got beer in their champagne. Yeah. So nobody has to go to no. the kitchen when we're cooking. They yeah. Get their drinks, their stuff. So yeah. So it kind of look like this. Yes. Exactly. So it will look like it's a unit, yeah. but this will be all fridge. Yeah. And that will be there. Shelves going up. Yeah. Because it's so in. deep, isn't it? Yeah. Be really oh my god. Oh my god. And then like they've got all the like electricity and stuff right here, so we're gonna have like a cupboard. Cupboard door, door yeah. thing. Yeah, so literally what the, the lady from Sheer Lux, her her creation is what we sort of like cooking. Inspired by. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Inspired. Yay! Oh my god. It looks beautiful. So I'll show you probably when the dinner's finished, but I'm gonna drink some champers. Oh, yeah. I'm on my second glass already. <laughs> it's hump day, baby. Oh my goodness. But yeah, I'll catch you guys in a bit. Dinner is so okay, <gasps> It's alright, you know, we'll do the job. Good yeah. morning guys and a happy Friday. Well, I don't know. I I keep saying things like this. I say good morning, good evening. I say what day it is, and you're probably watching it on a Monday morning. Um, but it's Friday now, which is lovely. I feel like this week has just gone really slow, but the days have gone really fast, if that makes sense. It's been a very bizarre week. Um, but today it is gloomy AF outside, um, and I did a little Friday get ready with me, and I used this new NARS Climax eyeshadow palette, and I used this like gorgeous green for an eyeliner and I love it. I think that really suits me. I'm um, so very happy with that and I've just got my hair in a bun because I'm actually quite enjoying it. I actually don't mind it. Um, and there's no point washing my hair or doing anything with my hair today because it's gloomy outside. I'm not filming anything. Um, but I'm going to be filming some H&M haul videos tomorrow which will be very good. But yeah. Today, slick back hair, jumper and comfy attire. Oh, I am in love with this jumper, I must say. So this jumper is from H&M and it's one of those like collar jumpers and I got it in a medium and I absolutely love it. Maybe I'll do my H&M haul on this vlog. I'll have a think about it. And then I've just paired it with these trousers, which are just so comfy. So I think my outfit today is I'm going to tuck this in, wear a blazer, converses. And I think that'll look like quite a cool look. My trousers have undone again, so I need to fix that before I head out because they are going to get wet. Or I'm just going to put, actually I think I might put some jeans on. I've got some grey jeans I'll put on with my grey blazer. Two seconds. Okay, that is more weatherproof attire. These are just some old jeans from Zara. They're quite comfy. And then I think I'm going to put on my chunky boots. A grey blazer, so let me get that out as well. So, 
grey blazer. That looks cool. Yeah, I like that. Um, so just like an all grey look. I've got a meeting with my lovely friend Sarah. We're going to a hotel. It looks very bougie. So I think I'm going to wear this because I think that looks comfy but cool. All my jewellery on. Warm. It's cold outside. So it looks like businessy vibes but warm. And then I don't know actually if to wear trainers. But I feel like boots would actually be quite warm. And if it's raining outside I've only got my, my new balances. I'm about these ones because they've got the thin strap. Yeah, I think what I love about these, and unfortunately they aren't available, but if you can find boots with that slim kind of sock lining, yeah, that's cool. That looks very like, I look super winter vibes right now. I know shock horror, but I'm going to take my Louis Vuitton because then I can put my iPad in there. That looks cool, like a cool undone meeting look. What do you think? Or do I go black? I do actually like the grey and grey together. I feel like that looks quite cool. Let me try the black one. Do I just look dull? I look, I feel like I just look dull. <laughs> oh goodness. I hate winter. <laughs> no, I love winter. It's just this awkward stage at the moment where it's just like you don't really know what to wear. But I, I guess this is quite cool. I could roll up my knit over the blazer. Okay, so as rain is not on my side today, I've gone for a raincoat just in case it is going to chuck it down. So this is my outfit. This coat is from the Fourth and Reckless Georgie Lennon collaboration, which is really handy, just like a neutral size. It needs ironing down, but I'm too scared to iron it. My H&M jumper, River Island trousers, which I'm going to grab my straighteners and fix, and my Louis bag and some vintage black converses okay i'm gonna have to show you this i've put you angling you all on a bin but i've just done this side and what i've basically done is shortened it so if you've had any problems with let's say the fabric undoing or you want to do a quick fix shorten the trousers yourself this is going to be your best friend from textiles expertise if i do say so myself so this is like a, an adhesive gluey material which you put in between the fabric do not ever iron this thing it has to be between fabric for you to iron it and it will basically melt into a glue and stick together so a really quick fix so if you can see this i'm gonna put you back a little bit more. yeah i'm gonna show you how a quick fix so i need to basically shorten them i'm using probably the wrong color for you to see it but i'm actually using my straighteners as well for me that's new but that is actually a lot easier and if you're in a rush just being able to quickly do this and then use your straightness. So I'm going to fold it where I want it, which is just another bit of that hem. So I'm going to apply it where I want to. Let me show you. Like so. Like that. And then I'm going to, oh god, fold like so. So where I want it. And it's got the glue a bit on the inside. So this is rolled up, by the way. So don't do it on the outside. I'm doing it on the inner side. This is when it gets tricky. And then with my straighteners to clamp and you can glide it but i'm trying to show you with one hand and it's uh, quite tricky and that should glue it together you can do it <laughs> not on you don't have to wear the item when doing it um i'm just being lazy and i'm about to head out the door so i'm doing it this way I can't believe I'm filming like this. This is hilarious. The reality, but especially with these flare trainer trousers, they're perfect for this time of like, they're perfect for winter and like obviously summer. But um, yeah, you don't want them dragging when it's raining. So this is gonna be your best friend. It's from Amazon and it's just super easy to do. We've done one leg in the space of maybe six minutes if i wasn't chatting away to you then i would have probably done it quicker and now i've got the hang out there so all the short girls out there you're welcome <laughs> so now they're a little bit shorter they just miss the bottom perfect they are so comfortable as well so i wanted to make sure i can shorten them in such an easy way to do so so yeah so that's my outfit for today <laughs> Hey guys, so I have just come back home. I will try and leave somewhat 
of what I've just been up to. Couldn't really feel much just because one was a very exciting meeting, which I think we are going to bring you along to. I'm doing a collaboration with my lovely friend Sarah from SVP, and um, we're doing a spring collection, which is really exciting and very nerve wracking. But I'm so honoured that she's even thought of me to do a collaboration with her, which is lovely. So that is that. So we had a meeting, and then I went to um, Emerald Brows to get my lashes and my brows done and madly enough these are natural my lashes well i mean not natural but like i haven't got any makeup on them how amazing do they look i'm gonna try and come closer but they just look incredible i incredible like she was amazing and she kept giving me head massages it was just phenomenal i've just got home and it's five o'clock so what i really want to try quickly whilst I'm just like faffing. I've got a soap. Okay, amazing. So this is a, it's called Cinnamon Secret All Natural Brush Soap. So it comes in a pot like this, and then when you open it, it has the soap and the silicone. So I'm gonna clean my brush. Oh, I'll try and hide the toilet. So yeah, so this is gonna, I love things like this. I find it so satisfying. Let's get a brush, wet it, massage it in this. Get that soap in. You use this, and that's just going to help buff it out. So I've just been adding water to it. I think it's working. I'll put you on a timer. I wasn't gonna drink tonight, but I'm working. It's six o'clock and I'm gonna carry on working. So I deserve you. We're on the bus. We're on the bus. This is my first time. We look like on a bus. Um, inspector guy. <laughs> on a Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> okay, We're on the bus. Come on. This is her first bus ride. This is my first London bus ride. I mean, somebody's got the front seat, so I'm a bit upset. Yeah, but she was like, we cannot fit. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to Zara. We've decorated the flat, which I forgot to show you. But it's like take two for Molly's birthday. Because I have more than one birthday. Because she is special. I'm gonna go Zara. I'm gonna go for a drink. And my hair's blocked. This yeah. is weird seeing yourself on this. What do you mean? It's just so like, hi, it's me. <laughs> it's the me. It's the me. It's the me. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go and have a drinky and then oh. let you meet us after. About to be so. <laughs> She's stunning. <laughs> stunning. It really accentuates. Are you going to Copenhagen? <laughs> Tell me you're going to Copenhagen without telling me you're going to Copenhagen. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Chin. 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 So we're in Cope, we're doing a little pit stop. <laughs> Jess is getting her like Instagram. Go get, get a girl. We've just ordered some panic chips. Yeah, this is dying. This is Darwin. Yeah, we just ordered onion soup. <laughs> That's the most Jess thing to do ever. But we went to the other store. You got a coat. I got a coat. Go to coat. You got nothing, nothing, but you want to get a coat? Yeah. And I'm yeah. I didn't get anything. My hair. My hair's crazy. We're gonna sit here, eat some food, and then go home and eat some more food. <laughs> and watch Cinderella. Right and watch Cinderella. Yeah, we're gonna get in pajamas. You're gonna get some of my pajamas on. We're gonna, we're gonna watch Cinderella. Right right Do you need some salt on them? Salt. 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 Oh yeah. Ba 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 boom. Ba 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 boom. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, they look like they've melted anyway. But this is what we've done. We decorated the place. Oh, birthday girl. And let you see. And we got foodies. What we got done. Happy birthday. Everything. Gluten free. Oh, it smells great. Yum. No, I'm gluten free. So my girls have just left. I'm actually on 
my way to a coffee shop across the park called New. It's like a 25 minute walk there, a 25 minute walk back. I'm gonna get hot chocolate and just chill in the sun because it's so beautiful. And then head back for a bit of work. But the weather is incredible today. Well, hello everybody. It is a Sunday now and I've just done um, mine and Helena's a food shop. I also found it needs a clean, but someone just left this outside their house for someone to take. And I mean, that is a pretty nice vase. So on my way back, I was like, if it's still there, I'm gonna take it. So yeah, I took it. Feels really nice. So I'm gonna give that a wash. Okay, so as it's Sunday, roast dinner so i've got some uh, these are the plant pioneers grown delicious six caramelized onion shroom dogs they're also gluten free they don't say gluten free um but they haven't got anything in them um very delicious and that's what we usually have for our roast bananas have a few bananas anyway egg salad mayo tomato some tuna we don't actually eat that much meat or fish in this house i think the only thing we actually really eat is tuna here and there. We love a tuna salad. Two potatoes, ginger, frozen peas, frozen raspberries, more salad, radish, cucumber. Oh, hello. Hello. And some avos, some limes, and some carottes. So I'm gonna put this away, get out of my dressing gown coat, and uh, start prepping dinner. Okay. 